back like we never left. What is good, everybody? Today's video was inspired by an incredible coaching session I had recently. That's your ex? Oh, they owe you absolutely nothing after that breakup. You already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. Oh no, I mean it. They don't owe you a phone call, a text message, a response, or any other closure you might feel they do. And what I'd ask you is this, how valuable is your time? Because likely after the breakup, you've been ruminating a lot, considering things that you really want to say, or just frustrated by how things ended, possibly upset that you ain't even see it coming, and the betrayal behind them even giving up on you in the first place. And trust and believe, that's natural. We are self-reflective individuals. And at times in our lives, we hit those crossroads. On one hand, you believed you had something special with your ex, right? Like it seemed like an un unbreakable bond. You worked through issues in the past already, so why couldn't you guys work through what led to this breakup? But on the other hand, you're wondering how they've gone this long without reaching out to you. How exactly is it so easy for them to cut ties, to not reach out, to not care enough about the relationship and the love you shared, to want to at least talk things out, right? And you know something? Like something I really want you to understand? Your ex don't owe you shit. See, most times we want that closure. We want answers. And honestly, even though you may deserve them, why would you ever expect someone who gave so little towards the the end of that relationship to give you something other than space. We all get emotional about the people we love in our lives, but the intimate relationships that we build, they become this place where it's hard to disconnect emotionally. Like think about the emotional investment you made, but you want to know the most important, the time. All of that time, all of those years, just down the drain, and all because you couldn't work through this last conflict, through them not caring to listen to you. And what about your kids? The house that you live in, the fact that you changed careers, that you made sacrifices, that you got married. Don't don't all of those commitments mean something? And the answer is yes, yes they do. They mean something to you, but there's something you have to understand about other people. You can't give them something that they don't have, nor can any of your love and affection make up for the lack of in there. See, if you're someone who always prides yourself on fixing things, on taking care of the situations you say you're gonna take care of, on coming through for people, for being an empathetic individual who cares about the wants and the needs of others, it's hard to accept. Everybody ain't built like you. They don't care like you. They don't want to be vulnerable like you. They don't have loyalty like you. Invest and give their all like you do. But once you can begin accepting that you did, give your all that is, to your ex, you'll realize you owe you. Not just to snap out of the expectations you have for your ex, but to also get your shit together. Because you matter here. Your time, your attention, your career, your struggles, and your pain. Like you owe you to get things to a place mentally and emotionally that will allow you to productively take step forwards to your evolution. You deserve happiness. But the first step to getting there, to actually healing, growing, and letting go is having patience because this shit ain't an overnight process. But you deserve giving you enough grace to have those setbacks, to make those mistakes, but also get you back to feeling like you're actually you again. You got this. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and come and join a team that will always push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.